Retailers say shoplifters are getting very clever going after the high-end merchandise. The thieves are often part of a bigger criminal operation. Stores are fighting back, but it is a difficult battle. ABC's Chris Bury reports. Welcome to Target's version of Candid Camera. At one store, this couple heads towards the iPods. In minutes, they clean out the entire case. At another, this fellow is stuffing stolen DVDs into a hidden bag. And at a third, this man ducks behind a counter, pulls out his crowbar, and pilfers a drawer full of digital cameras. They make a lot of money off of what they do, and they are very bold and brazen. This may look like petty theft, but it is a large-scale criminal enterprise. How sophisticated are these organizations that are stealing from you? Most are run just like a business. Shoplifters are costing big box retailers more than $30 billion a year. Losses that are growing as the recession deepens. How fast do they get this stuff out? It can be three minutes. They're in the store and out in about three minutes sometimes. And take it from this thief seen in a police interrogation, they are persistent. How many days a week would you shop with? Every single day. And stolen goods like these Sopranos DVDs are increasingly sold online, where sites such as eBay say they are helping to track down illegal activity. Have these online auction sites become virtual pawn shops? They have, they have. So Target has decided to fight back, helping local and federal law enforcement so often overwhelmed by other priorities. This is Target's crime lab and investigations headquarters in Minneapolis. So this is a very secure environment. We do make sure that only people that are authorized come into the building. Its own private CSI and FBI. You have a lab here which would probably be the envy of a lot of police departments. <laughs> Correct. We operate two forensic laboratories, one here in Minneapolis, one in Las Vegas. Those laboratories focus on the scientific evaluation of evidence, particularly latent fingerprints, forensic video analysis, audio analysis, and computer forensics. In the Sopranos case, Sopranos DVDs were vanishing from Target stores. So they called in their own fingerprint experts. He left without uh, stealing anything in that incident, but what we have here is now we believe his fingerprints are on this item. The item was a tissue box. Investigators took the box, managed to find a fingerprint, and pieced together the puzzle. The Sopranos DVD box set, similar to this item, was purchased through an online auction account by our investigators from an account that we believed was run by this individual to sell his stolen merchandise. The team then took fingerprints from the DVD and compared them to those on the tissue box. The same individual handled both of those items. A positive match. What was the end result of this case? The individual in this case was charged with multiple felonies, ended up striking a plea bargain with the uh, district attorney's office, and did serve jail time. Back at the investigation center, Nate can monitor suspects in real time. Can you watch it all from Minneapolis? We can watch uh, several, several stores. We can pull up different live shots. It was the undoing of Oscar Pierce, the thief who actually doesn't steal a thing. So in this video, our subject has already placed a fraudulent label on the product. Pierce and his accomplice switch price labels to cheat the store. Their specialty, placing phony price tags on electric razors. Ten minutes after suspect number one comes in and puts the phony barcode on, what happens? The second subject comes in, grabs that specific product, takes it to the cashier, and buys a $200 razor for $30. So he's made a very fat profit on that. Yes, he has. And you're trailing him every step of the way. In all, Pierce stole nearly $20,000 worth of Target merchandise. And where is the suspect now? Suspect is incarcerated. In prison? He is. The losses from organized theft take a toll far beyond the doors of retail chains like Target. Generally, the organized retail crime groups are involved in other things. They're involved in um, drugs, weapons, prostitution. And the losses are so staggering that more and more retailers have no choice but to engage ever more sophisticated strategies just to catch a thief. For Target, it's paying off in 60,000 apprehensions a year. What message are you trying to give the bad guys? 
simply put, we are aware of the activity. We are focused in investing our resources to go after that activity. You know, we are doing everything we can to, to put an end to this. I'm Chris Geary for Nightline in Minneapolis. And it's